Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. <laughs> and welcome to Pinkoween. So today I'm doing a collaboration with my amazing friend Kitty J Havoc. I will link her channel up here and down below. We have done quite a few collaborations together. We did a pizza and taco night together. We also did a um, Women of Westeros collab together. And today we are doing a Moonspell collab together with the Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette. So we are doing a Good Witch, Bad Witch collab so I'm going to do a look with this palette that is kind of more of a costumey look but it's going to be you know inspired by a good witch so that is what we're doing today Sophie is already making her presence known so I'm going to take off the cover and if you have not seen this palette it is gorgeous looks like this and when Kitty J and I found out that we were both getting it we knew we had to do some type of collab with it. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to kind of do my own spin on it, I guess, like a, when I think of a good witch, I think something either really ethereal or colorful, and I'm going to kind of do a little bit of both. So I am going to prime my eyelids with my Anastasia primer. It's pretty much all I've been using lately. I don't know why. I just really, really love it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to pretty much use as many colors in this palette as I can to kind of create just a really colorful fun look and then we will put some sparkle and some shine on my face and kind of probably contour with blush just for fun or with an eyeshadow. What have I done with my mirror? Per usual, I have forgotten my mirror. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, for my look today, I will use my pink Jeffree Star mirror since it is the Good Witch, and that's why I have a light pink shirt on. And basically, we're just going to transform our face. So how have you guys been? I feel like it has been forever since I've talked to you guys. It hasn't been that long, but for me, it feels like forever since I've actually filmed. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to do like the purples up top and maybe the greens below. Mm. Uh, well, we're going to start with Sabrina, which is the purple. And then we're going to go from there and see where it goes. So things have been going they've been going <laughs> it's been interesting a lot has been going on as you guys know um, but I think things are starting to get better and I'm starting to feel a little bit better so that's good and the move is coming along it's not finished quite yet but it's coming along the condo association has crazy rules as to when you can move in and it's pretty much only in the evenings but before a certain time only on Saturdays not Sundays not holidays so with my husband's work schedule it's been kind of crazy but we are moving along so I'm so excited to be doing this collab with Kitty J. I love Kitty J. We have been in a bunch of group collabs together. And like I said, we've done quite a few collabs uh, on our own. And she just has one of the funniest, like most genuine personalities of anyone I've ever met. She, what you see is what she, what you get. Like she is just so down to earth, but she's so funny and she doesn't even mean to be. Like she just is and she has such an amazing personality she's so sweet and she's one of my closest friends here on YouTube and I just love her so so much so I'm so happy to be doing this with her and I cannot wait to see her look because it was so funny when we were talking about this instantly she was like 
um, I was like, can I be the good witch? And she was like, um, yeah, because I want to be the bad witch. So I think I'm going to go in I'm having such a hard time deciding. Um, I think I'm going to go in with Fiona, which is the beautiful teal shade. And I think I'm just going to put that next to this. This is going to be a slightly dark look, but I'm really going to put a lot of lightness in the inner corner. And I just kind of want to play with the shades and make it really colorful. Because, like I said, a good witch to me can either be something really colorful or ethereal. So we're going for the colorful. And... I love this palette so much. Okay, and then now we're going to go into a different brush. I'm going to go into a flat shader brush. I think I'm going to use some glitter glue. And you guys know I love using shimmers for my, or glitter glue for my shimmers, not shimmers for my glitter glue. I'm all kinds of backwards. But yeah, so I cannot wait to see what she does. There were no rules. We can do full face or just the eyes. And I think both of us, I'm guessing, are going to do pretty much like the full face. Because I think I'm going to do pink brows or something. Okay. So now we're going to go into Phoebe. Which is a beautiful, like, metallic pink. So we're going from purple to teal to pink which I know is crazy, but I really want it to be very colorful. These shades are beautiful, although I do find it, I find that they work better when you use your finger, but I don't like using my finger, so I'm really stubborn, and I still try to use a brush, <laughs> and then I end up using my finger eventually, but... So far, that's looking interesting, but pretty. Let me know down below if you guys picked up this palette. I haven't seen quite as many people do looks with this palette as I thought, but I've also seen some people I didn't expect to do looks with this palette um, do looks with it. Like I saw that Anielica Nequest got it, which... I don't know why that surprised me, but it just did. So now I'm just taking the shade Prue and I'm putting it pretty much everywhere and really amping up that inner portion to make it look really ethereal. And I might, I just might use this as my highlighter today. And I think I might use um, Piper as my brow color and possibly as my contour shade. Okay. So now that we have this laid down, let me go off camera really quick and just do my foundation base and then we'll come back and I'll do the rest of my eyes and the rest of my face. I'll be right back. Okay. So. I have done my brows with the shade Piper, which I think looks really cool. And you could definitely snap, was I gonna say snazz this up? You can definitely jazz this up. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. You can make it look more fun, more costumey if you wanted to by doing like a, um, a wig, like a pink wig that would be really cute. I'm going to take my blush brush and I'm going to go into the shade Page and I'm going to use blush as contour, which is going to look a little crazy, but that's okay because it's a Halloween look. I don't think I've ever done blush as contour. I'm trying to think. Let me know down below if you have. I've always seen, I've seen people do it. 
but I don't believe I have. I guess we're going all out. We're going to do some on our forehead. Oh my goodness. So I ordered, I think I mentioned in a previous video that I was ordering the Tati Beauty um, palette. And I did. And um, I paid for expedited shipping. And I'm getting a little worried because I have not received my shipping confirmation yet. But people that I know that did not pay for expedited shipping have gotten their shipping confirmation. So, like, should I be worried or... I don't know. Because expedited shipping, I think, was like... I want to say it was like 11 something. And I would not have paid that if I would have known that it was not going to come as quickly. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Prue. And I'm just going to put that, hold on, maybe I need to spray my face. Actually, I'm going to use something else. I have my Snow Angels from Give Me Glow. And it is like a white, like an icy white highlighter. So I'm going to use some of that. It comes in this little container here. Please do not fall because we all know I drop everything. What did I do with my brush? There it is. I'm going to use my blush brush since I want to get like a larger area. I don't just want to do my where I would normally do highlight. I want to, yeah, that's what we want. We want everything to be glowing. Everything. We want to use this as our setting powder, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. A little bit on the chin. Okay. A little bit on the brow bone. There we go. Okay. So now we're looking crazy. Um, I need mascara. And what on earth have I done with it? Is it in here? As I drop everything else. Um, no. Where is my mascara, guys? What have I done with it? Let me grab some. Okay, I went and grabbed my um, Big Ego from Tarte, and I'm just going to do that on the upper. I think this would be a really cute fairy type of look, too, if you wanted to do that for Halloween. If this palette had had more lighter shades in it, I might have done an all light look, but I kind of like just like the colorful type of look with like the etherealness. It's a little bit much on my cupid's bow. Okay, and then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go into this and I think I'm going to do Sabrina which is the purple and I'm going to do that all underneath because why not? I love purple. It's my favorite color and I feel like I don't do enough purple looks. I think this palette is almost a little bit more geared towards uh, the kind of look that Kitty J is going to do with all those beautiful greens. And I mean, it does have like a whole row of purples, but there's only really one like very ethereal color. So let me, I'm gonna grab Prue again, and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. And then I'm also going to add some of my highlighter to it because I think that, oh yeah. 
that really amps it up. Yes. Oh, that's a little much. Hold on. <laughs> Although, is there such a thing as too much? No. Not when you're doing a Halloween look. I'm just going to put some highlighter on my brow bone. I want everything to look icy and sparkly. Yes. Okay. Now it has come together. Okay. Let me spray my face. And then I'm going to do some mascara on the lower lash line. For the lips, I think I'm just going to do some gloss. Well, I don't know. Part of me wanted to do like a, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of a pink, pinky lip. Well, like a, kind of like a magenta -y lip. This, um, Juvia's Place. But I don't want it to be. gonna say I don't want it to be fully fully there but this is a very very pigmented lip color and then I kind of blot it off I just want it to I don't know just kind of give my lips like almost like a little bit of a stain and then I want to take this which is the Too Faced Sugar Plum lip gloss. I think this is sugar plum. Yes. Mm, smells good. And uh-huh. That is perfect. Okay. There we go. So this is my good witch look with, as my eye went wonky, I think I got something in it, <laughs> with the Moonspell palette from Lunar Beauty. So I, I really do love this palette. I think it's amazing. I think the packaging is amazing. Um, do I have these colors in my, I mean, this isn't a review, but you know what I mean? I feel like I do have some of the colors in my collection, but I think they did a really great job with it. And I, I personally imagine Kitty J might be using some of these shades. I don't know we haven't really talked about it but I cannot wait to see what she created and I hope that you enjoyed my little you know quick little good witch tutorial so thank you Kitty J so much for doing this collaboration with me I cannot wait to see your look while you guys are watching me I will be watching her and I hope that you guys will all go check her out subscribe let her know I sent you and show her some love because she deserves it she's amazing I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for sticking with me through this kind of rough patch, but um, I think we're getting, I think we're seeing the other side. So I'm excited and I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.